Hello everyone, how are you? So today's session is reading comprehension. We have Fred's Pet. This is page eight, page eight, Fred's Pet. Okay, let's start. It was bring your pet to school day. And the Fred was really excited. The prize for the most interesting pet was a family ticket to the fair. Fred couldn't wait. He had never brought his pet to school before. Nan had always said it was a bad idea. Fred wasn't sure why she would think that. Again, it was bring, bring your pet to school day and Fred was really excited. The prize for the most interesting pet was a family ticket to the fair. Fred couldn't wait. He had never brought his pet to school before. Nan had always said it was a bad idea. Fred wasn't sure why she would think that. So there was an event in the school called Bring Your Pet to School Day. Okay? It's about that each student bring his or her pet to the school. And the most interesting pet will win a family ticket to the fair. We have a student called Fred who was really excited about this event because he had never brought his pet to the school before, okay? Here, pet means, pet here means, an animal that is kept in the home and treated kindly. Okay, an animal that is kept in the home and they treat it kindly, like a bird, cat, dog, fish, okay, turtle, okay, and this is the fair, okay, let's start to answer. Practice questions. How is Fred feeling? Circle one answer, nervous, angry, excited, worried. So Fred is excited. This one, okay? Two, what was the prize for the most interesting pet? Tick one, a new pet to take home, a golden trophy, text text to the fair, three days of school. The answer here, tickets to the fair. Tickets to the fair, okay? Let's move to the next page, page nine. Dinah was went first. This is Piggy. She said she loves eating seeds, sitting on her perch, and cleaning her feathers. She's very friendly. Zenab let everyone stroke Piggy as long as they promised to be very gentle. Next, it was Logan's turn. This is Ronald. Logan said, holding a fluffy white rabbit. Everybody giggled as Ronald hopped around at the front of the class. He nibbled Mrs. Taylor's shoe, which made her laugh. Again, so the first student was Zainab. So Zainab went first. This is Piggy. She said she loves eating seeds, sitting on her perch, and cleaning her feathers. She's very friendly. Zainab let everyone stroke Piggy as long as they promised to be very gentle. Next, it was Logan's turn. This is Ronald, Logan said, holding a fluffy white rabbit. Everybody giggled as Ronald hopped around at the front of the class. He nibbled Mrs. Taylor's shoe, which made her laugh. How funny, Mrs. Taylor said. So the first student 
who went first was Zainab. She said, this is Piggy. Piggy loves eating the seeds, sitting on her perch and cleaning her feathers. She is very friendly. She here, as you can see, Zainab didn't say what kind of pet she has. So I guess it's a bird. It's what a bird, okay? Because birds eat seeds and they clean their feathers, okay? Zainab let everyone stroke Piggy. What the meaning of stroke here? Stroke means to move your hand over something. To move your hand over something. So stroke means to move your hands over something. The word stroke. The word stroke. To move your hands over something. You right there. Okay. As long as they promise to be gentle with Piggy. Okay, so after Dana finished, next was Logan's turn. He said, this is Roland holding a fluffy white rabbit. So uh, Logan's pet was a fluffy white rabbit. Everybody giggled. Giggled means to laugh. Giggled means to laugh. Sorry. To laugh. So everybody laughed. Okay. As Ronald hopped. Hop means jump. Around at the front of the class, he nibbled Mrs. Taylor's shoe, which made her laugh. How funny, Mrs. Taylor said. First question. What kind of animal do you think Piggy is? It's this. We said that it's a bird. It's what it is a bird, okay? Because bird is a kind of a pet that eat, eats seeds and cleans its feathers, okay? And bears are very friendly. Okay, why do you think that? So, here we will write what Peggy said about her pet, because Birds eat seed, sit on their perch, and clean their feathers. Full stop. Okay? Two. Who brought a rabbit into school? Zainab, Ronald, Mrs. Taylor, Logan. So Zainab brought a bird. Ronald was the name of uh, the pet. Mrs. Taylor is a teacher. Logan is the one who brought a rabbit into school. So the answer will be Logan. Okay. Here, page 10. Finally, it was Fred's turn. He walked to the front of the class with a large bag on his back. This is Drake, Fred said. He reached inside the bag and pulled out a small dinosaur. Everyone froze. Drake is baby T-Rex, Fred said. One day, he will grow up to be as a big as house. Drake roared a squeaky roar. He had long, sharp teeth. Mrs. Taylor nearly fell off her chair. The children at the front had big, wide eyes. Their mouths, their mouths fell open. Again, finally, it was Fred's turn. He walked to the front of the class 
with a large bag on his back. This is Drake, Fred said. He reached inside the bag and pulled out a small dinosaur. Everyone froze. Drake is a baby T-Rex. Fred said one day he will grow up to be as big as a house. Drake roared a squeaky roar. He had long, sharp teeth. Mrs. Taylor nearly fell off her chair. The children at the front had bag, had big white eyes. Their mouth fell off. So after Zainab finished, then it was Logan's turn. After he finished, it was Fred's turn. He walked in the front of the class. He had large bag on his back, okay? He opened it and he got out a pet. Hey everyone, this is Drake, okay? He pulled out a small dinosaur. So Fred's pet was a dinosaur. Everyone froze. He said, Drake is a baby T-Rex. So this kind of dinosaur is T-Rex. Fred said, one day, he will grow up to be as big as a house. Drake roared a squeaky roar. Uh, Drake roared a squeaky roar. Roar here means... to make a long, loud, deep, sound. Roar means to make a long, loud, deep sound. Squeaky means deep sound. Okay? So Drake make a made a loud, deep sound. Okay? Drake also had long, sharp teeth, had long, sharp teeth. Okay. No, sorry. Again, please, sorry. Look, roar means to make a long, loud, deep sound, okay? Squeaky means very high sound okay that's it so roar to make a long loud deep sound squeaky a very high sound okay mrs taylor nearly fell off her chair the children were shocked they they they, they just opened their eyes their mouth fell open Okay, so the children at the front had big wide eyes, their mouth fell off, fell open. Okay, let's answer here. Find and copy a phrase which shows that the children are shocked. You can, so the children at the front had big white eyes okay another one the children's mouth fell open so just copy only one Either this one or this one. The children in the front had big white eyes or the children's mouth fell open. Okay?
Here, draw three lines to match the adjectives to the thing it describes. Here we have squeaky, large, short. We have here three adjectives, squeaky, large, short. Fred's back, Drake's teeth, Drake's roar. So, squeaky here describes Drake's roar. Large, Fred's bag or Drake's teeth. So large here describes Fred's bag. Sharp describes Drake's teeth. Let's move to the last page, page 11. Fred raised home from school. How was the school today? Asked Nan as Fred, as Fred opened his bag in the kitchen. Drake ran outside to, the, to play in the garden with Kane the dog. It was good. We got to meet some interesting pets, replied Fred, but none were quite as interesting as Drake. Fred reached into his school bag and pulled out a golden envelope. He held it out towards Nan. You will never guess what I want, said Fred. Again, Fred raced home from school. Nan asked Fred, how was school today? He opened his bag in the kitchen. Drake ran outside to play with Kane the dog in the garden. He told her that it was good. He got to meet some interesting pets but none were quite as interesting as Drake. Quite here means very. Quite means very. Okay. Fred reached into his school bag and pulled something. It was a golden envelope. He told his nan, you will never get what I want. So this means that Fred win. Fred, uh, sorry, Fred won. Do you remember in the beginning here? Here, the prize for the most interesting pet was a family ticket to the fair. So this means that Fred won a family ticket to the fair. What do you think was inside the golden envelope? So here, the answer will be a family ticket to the fair. Here, number the following events from one to five to show the order that they happened in the story. The first one has been done for you. Let's read it together. Dana showed Piggy to the class. Fred was excited to go to, the, to school. Fred showed Drake to the class. Nan asked Fred how his day had been. Ronald nippled Mrs. Taylor's shoe. Number one, that Fred was excited to go to school. Fred was excited to go to school. We said that the first one who showed the class his or her pet was Dana. So Dana showed Piggy to the class. This is number two. Three. Mm. It was Ronald, it was sorry, Logan's turn. So number three will be Ronald nippled Mrs. Taylor shoe. This is number three. Let's write it in a good handwriting. So this one will be two. This one will be three. Four. Fred showed Drake to the class. This is number four. 
And the last one, number five, Nan asked Fred how his day had been. Five. Okay, so Fred was excited to go to school. Zainab showed Piggy to the class. Roland nippled Mrs. Taylor's shoe. Fred showed Drake to the class. Nan asked Fred how his day had been. So that's it. A quick summary about this one. So there was an event in the school called Bring Your Pet to School Day. It was about each student bring his or her pet to the school and the most interesting pet will win a family ticket to the fair. Okay. Dana bought the first student to show her class her pet, which was a bird. The bird's name was Biggie. She loves eating seeds, sitting on her perch and cleaning her feathers. She was very, she, she was very friendly. Okay, next it was Logan's turn. He had a fluffy white rabbit called Ronald. Everybody giggled as Ronald hopped around at the front of the class. Then it was Fred's turn. He was very excited to show his class his pet. So he pulled, he pulled out a small dinosaur Everyone froze, Drake is a baby T-Rex. So his pet's name is, T uh, is Drake and it was a kind of T-Rex dinosaur. He said when one day he will grow up to be as big as a house. The students were shocked. The children in the front had big wide mouth. Their mouths fell open. Then he went home. His nan asked him how was his day. He opened his bag in the kitchen. Drake ran outside to play with the dog Kane. He told his nan that it was a good day. He got to meet some interesting pets, uh, but none were quite as interesting as Drake. Then he pulled out a golden envelope from his bag. It was a family ticket to the fair. He told his nan that he won. So this is it. I hope that you understood this reading comprehension. Thank you and goodbye.